You want to buy a Spacer Hyena 3? At the end of this video, you'll know how. Look at this thing. From this point of view, intimidation is an inadequate word. It looks like it's built to ram into something. And the Hyena 3 is also a pretty strong ship. With a 40 power Class C reactor, 7 crew stations, 900 light year range, and a shield strength of 1315, it is a pretty strong foe. The weapons on this ship pack a pretty strong punch too, with two really strong missile launchers. However, despite having four awesome engines, it has a mobility of only 41. The Teo Astroneering Shipbed 200 landing bay lets us in at the bottom layer of the ship and into the Nova Galactic Cargo Hold 2x3. This is a spacious, roomy area with plenty of space. Like I said, I'm going to show you where you can get this kind of ship, but let's explore first. In general, a cargo hold has no real use, except for placing some stuff, if you wish. We see it has one ladder going up to the middle layer of the ship and into a Nova Galactic storeroom. To the left, we see the door leading to the Hope Tech Hope 11 docker port. I dislike the sideways docker, but it is well positioned in this ship. Passing through the door, we enter a Nova Galactic armory. But before we explore it, let's head to the left. The door opens into a Nova Galactic infirmary. The Nova Galactic infirmary is quite a nice hab module with a research station, a pharmaceutical station, two beds, and a resting area. Let's head back. Back in the armory, we see there is ample room for weapons and ammo, but I wish there was an actual storage crate, not just this small box. There's even a mannequin here, but let's move on. Through the door and into the Nova Galactic Engineering Bay 3x1, which personally I think is a complete waste of space. Alright, let's get out of here. Through the door, we turn left and go into a Nova Galactic Companionway and we look through the porthole. Continuing forward, we go into the Nova Galactic Mess Hall, left into a storeroom and then into a Captain's Quarters. The Nova Galactic Captain's Quarters are nice with a large chest, big portholes, an isolated sleeping area and a nice working area. Alright, let's get back to the Mess Hall. The Nova Galactic Mess Hall is very large and roomy. It has benches, it has a TV viewing area, plenty of dining tables, and of course a cooking station. Plenty of space. I want to hear one of my stories? Do you have one to tell me? Can't you see that I'm in the middle of recording something for my viewers? Here we go into the Nova Galactic control station to go up to the top layer. We reach a Nova Galactic companionway, and looking around, we open the door into a Nova Galactic computer core, which gives us another crew station, of course. Looking around, we see the computer core. It's a nice uh, hab. Back to the companionway, we will go up the ladder and reach the Stroud Eklund Kontiki B500 bridge. This bridge is extremely spacious, providing excellent views of the outside, plenty of jump seats, etc. Let's break it down to pieces. So where can you buy one of these? You can't, but I promised I'll tell you where you can. So, well, what you can do is buy something which is identical, but minus the paint job. I'll get to it, but for now, let's start with the engines. The engines are Slayton Aerospace Sal 6110 engines. These are amazing C-class engines taking two power, which means you can actually place six of them on your ship. Personally, I think these are the best engines in the game. For grab fuel, the Hyena has two Ballistic Solutions 600T helium tanks and two Nautilus Titan 550 helium tanks, providing a total of 900 light year range. Let's move the entire assembly aside. The reactor is a Dogstar SF40 sheared flow reactor. This C-class reactor produces 40 power, which is the highest value you will see in the game. The only other 40 power reactor is just slightly better with more health and a higher hull value. The grav drive is a bit disappointing. The Nova Galactic NG300 is a C-class drive using 11 power producing only 27 jump thrust which gives this ship only 21 light years of single segment range. If you captured this ship, this is one thing you ought to replace. 
The Stroud Eklund Kontiki B500 bridge is situated high, giving a great view of the battlefield during combat. It is very spacious inside and provides 360 kilograms of cargo and six crew stations. Its shape nicely complements the overall look of this ship. The shield on this ship is impressive. The Protectorate System's Odin 3050C shield generator is a C-class shield using 11 power, producing 1,315 shield health, which is in the top 15% of shields. Here we see the Nova Galactic Companionway, the all-in-one berth, and the computer core on the top layer of the ship. Let's look at the weapons. The Hyena 3 has two Ballistic Solutions MKE 9A Auto Gauss guns. This is one of the best ballistic weapons in the game, with the second highest overall damage per second, the highest belongs to the B Class KE 49 Auto Cannon, and the second longest range of any ballistic weapon, the longest being the B Class KE 42 Cannon Turret. The laser weapons are two Shinigami Reza 300 petahertz SX pulse laser turrets. These laser turrets have the highest damage per second in the game of all laser weapons, with the third longest range. A very powerful weapon indeed. By the way, plenty more reviews like this are on the way, so your like and subscribe would be highly appreciated. Thanks. The missile launchers are two Shinigami made. Tsukisasu 50k missile launchers that have the fifth highest damage per second of any missile launchers in the game and the longest base range of 4,250 meters. Let's quickly move this top layer aside. On the lower layer we see the Hope 11 docker, the Nova Galactic infirmary, the storeroom, armory, engineering bay, the centerline companionway, the Nova control station as well as the mess hall and the captain's quarters. Moving this layer aside reveals the landing gear layer with some cargo modules and the large cargo hall. We can see the Teo Astroneering Shipbed 200 landing bay and the Nova Galactic cargo hall. We can also see the two Sexton Shield Systems 300cm ballast cargo holds together giving 640 kilograms of cargo space reaching 1000 with the cockpit. Looking from below, we can see six Teo Astroneering landing gears and two Nova Galactic NG-20 landing gears for a total of 20 lander thrust. Let's put her back together again. Now let's talk about how to get one. Well, luckily, if you don't want to try to capture one, you can always look for its unpainted variant called Crossbow. I found a Crossbow 2 for sale in New Atlantis, and here I have a Crossbow 3. Going inside, you can see that it is identical, but it becomes more obvious when you look in the ship builder. Anyway, this ship will set you back at least half a million credits. Not too cheap. Maybe you should try to capture one after all, and if you do, don't forget to upgrade the grav drive and maybe add an engine for better mobility. That's all. I hope you remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more content. See you in the next video.